What next? That's the question I'm asking today. Hi, it's Martin, coach, speaker, author, and we've been exploring some really simple but powerful questions. We started with what if? What if we could rise from trauma, difficult situations, and become a new 2.0 version of ourselves, a new confident version, knowing our value, knowing our worth, being able to live life on our terms and feel like the hero of our life story, which indeed is our absolute right. We started with what if, and we built this vision of what potentially life could look like. We got excited about that. And then we asked the question of what now? So what do we do with that vision? What can help us right now? And we, we thought, well, we need to start packing for our journey. And we need to take the positive stuff with us. So we had a look at what was serving us from the past and the current. What are those positive things that we want to have in our toolbox, in our luggage, whilst we go on this journey? And we also looked at, well, what, have, what are some of the things that maybe haven't been serving us? What are some of the things that have frustrated and stressed and overwhelmed you in the past? And maybe even today, with a new perspective of maybe some of these things you'd like to leave behind. And so once we were identifying these questions and, and getting excited about the prospect of change, it's a case of, well, Martin, what next? You see, it's great having all these thoughts and these ideas and this vision, but we do have to do something with it. We do have to ensure that we're focused and committed and that we set intentions because we can't think our way out of this. We have to take action. So how about if one of the first things we could do next was to have hmm, some kind of some kind of guide that maybe took us through what change was all about. Some of the pitfalls that people who make changes or want to make changes make and then they're not sustainable. A bit like New Year's resolutions. When we start all really excited, but then three or four weeks in, motivation has subsided life gets in the way. Well, when we're looking at a future vision of ourselves, when we want to become that confident self, you know, we will go on a journey. There will be twists and turns. And what we need to do is make sure we're prepared. So how about something that takes you through a structure like that? And so that we can identify the good stuff. And also maybe some of the things that are going to potentially get in our way, but address how we're going to deal with those before they arrive. How about something like that to give us a plan, give us a structure to start that path? Well, it just so happens I've written a brand new ebook all about pivot and is it time for change? You see, a lot of people are pivoting. It's a bit of a word of choice at the moment. They might have to have pivoted their business because of the circumstances we find ourselves in. They may have had to pivot their routines, how they deal with family, how they deal with health. We've actually been through an, an almighty change and pivot collectively across the human race in the last few weeks. So this kind of gives us a great opportunity to say we can deal with change. Change isn't always scary. It isn't always something that we can do because it's the unknown. If anything, these last few weeks have shown that actually, you know what? We can embrace change and we will make the most of it. And now it's about collectively looking at that and saying, how can we make the most of this going forward? My new ebook is going to be published next week. Now I know what you're going to say, Martin, you whipped me up into a frenzy and I can't wait till next week. That does seem a little unfair. So how about, how about if you drop me a message below 
Well, you DM me behind the scenes and I give you a sample of the brand new ebook direct from my laptop. How about I give you the first few pages to go through in terms of what changes and the whole concept of change and why maybe we feel that sometimes it's something we can't do and then sometimes we can embrace it. How about I give you a sneak preview, totally free, of that brand new ebook to get you started, to get you going, to get you thinking. And then maybe we pick up next week on what the next few things are, what the next few steps are that we can take together. Until then, I hope we've addressed what next.